Hotep, hotep, hotep. Beloved, how are you? I'm beautiful. I can't complain. Life is life gets better. It will only get better. You know what? I love that. And I caught some of the videos from uh, the their, it was indigenous Naga. Yes. Oh my goodness. I just, if I'm having just a moment, I would just turn it on and just, just joy there, you know, his energy is just, I mean, it's just so wild and whatnot. I see you, you received a message. I said, I hope it would make sense to you. It did. <laughs> and I could feel you some in my spirit. So I've been quite busy. You guys, you know, you, you've been waking up the masses and I've been kind of just, you know, doing a lot of Skype calling and lots of messages, you know, through internet and whatnot. And just saying hello to everyone. I know you guys are listening because he told me he's going to record today. Right. <laughs> I don't have as much time as I did before. Um, so, I, but I wanted to make sure that I actually touch base with you and to bring our vibration get together. Okay. Right. So we're, you know, you know, coast to coast, east and west, you know. Right. But it goes beyond the coast. It's, you know, right south. Right. Um, so what's going on with you? I want you to, to give me some wisdoms today. Okay. So uh, what I'm working on right now is I'm currently working on two projects that weren't hand in hand together with each other. Um, it's called the Red Skull, Rotten Fruit, and Lucky Bamboo. It's a mixtape uh, slash short film. So if they get the album, they actually get a, a, the DVD that comes with the album. And um, for retail price... Um, the album is ten dollars exactly. I'm not charging nobody nothing. It's five dollars for the mixtape and it's five dollars for the for the DVD. And um, the DVD is exactly forty five minutes. It's edited perfectly with sound and vibration, uh, uh, narration, um, and a lot of different uh, random pictures that that, that depict a good story, a beautiful story. And um, the mixtape is comprised of ten classic. Um, like, you know, hallmark uh, tracks that I put down, a lot of high vibrational energy, a lot of high science um, encrypted in the, um, the, 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 the hip hop album. And it's called Red Skull, Rotten Fruit and Lucky Bamboo. Um, I shot it in three locations here in what they call Osun, what I call the Bay Area, um, different cities around uh, Osun. And then um, I shot some of it uh, of the film in Arizona and I got to go and shoot the last four scenes of the film in uh, what they call Las Vegas, what we call Magic City. And, um, and you know, um, and, and that'd be beautiful. Once I finish that little stuff, I'm finished with that project. Um, on that, on that project, on the actual album, I have a record called Voodoo Child. I cut that record. Um, when I incarnated as, uh, um, as, um, uh, 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 uh Jimi Hendrix, you know what I'm saying? I did an album when I was Jimi Hendrix as Voodoo Child. Then I faded into the etheric realm. I faded to black. You know what I'm saying? And went into the etheric realm. This incarnation, God, um, um, I, I chose to go ahead and use the seven African pop powers, a.k.a. the Arishas. So I talk about Ogun. I talk about Oshun. I talk about Odudamar. I talk about Shango. I talk about the seven African powers or the seven, uh, um, the seven primary Arishas. And that actual record is called um, Voodoo Child. And um, that's one of the records that I have on the project. And then I also have another record on a project called uh, 25 Million. You know what I'm saying? And um, I talk about, you know, um, uh, being $25 million worth of free energy and, and just different things and stuff like that. So it's a good project. The film that I'm actually getting ready to shoot is, is, is about a few scenes that I have to shoot in Magic City, what they call Las Vegas, what I call Magic City. Um, pretty much what I'm doing with this album, the Red Skull, I got that from the Red Skull Demon. They call Satan the Red Skull Demon because Satan is really... A cosmic energy when you take the spookism out of it is dealing with a cosmic energy that represents the north part of the planet Saturn and if you think about it all of the, the satellites is on the Sun the moon and Saturn them is the primary satellites and then after that those satellites the satellites on, on Mars of course you know what I'm saying the satellites on Mars the planet Earth got a few satellites 
But the main ones, the main ones is the moon, the sun, and Saturn. Them is the oldest satellites right there that dictate a lot of shit within this galaxy. So um, I named my album, this project after the Red Skull, which this with that Red Skull demon. One man's God is another man's demon. One man's demon is another man's God. I chose to Ashe Saturn on this project and deal with that Saturn energy because I'm letting people know, hey, don't take the spookism out of it. We're talking about an energy and we're talking about the north part of Saturn. And if you really want to tap into the the the, the energy of Saturn, then I say Saturn, uh, Satan. So Red Skull, Rotten Fruit, and Lucky Bamboo. And um, the, the album is comprised of 10 different tracks, 10 different records that I worked on. And um, and I have a few scenes that I have to shoot in Magic City, what they call Las Vegas. I'll be out there in Magic City within a strong um, 14 days, give or take. And I'll be out there. I'm hooking up with um, some of my brothers and sisters out there. There's a uh, actually there's this guy who came from Cuba and he started a uh, uh, he started a, a, a martial arts class. You know what I'm saying? He started a martial arts class and um, and he teaches martial arts, mixed martial arts. You know what I'm saying? With, with like a Brit British, uh, I mean a um, a Brazilian kind of style. So they mix dance with martial arts, and it's very very. Um, is very very strategic. It's very very uh, high vibrational, and they call themselves the Silverback Gorilla Clan. And um, I didn't even know about them until I actually released this collection that I'm working on—a clothing collection called the uh, Black Gorilla Gang. And when I came out with my Black Gorilla Gang clothing apparel, that's when this one guy, his name is uh, Guy King Cam, uh, uh, King Cam uh, uh, Supreme. He contacted me and he said, yo, I've been watching your videos for like the last two years, yo. Like you vibe hella high and even though you was a gorilla. I said, yo. He said, yeah, man, we have a movement out here. You you creating a sound and vibration that reached all the way out here to Vegas. And um, and we would love for you to come out here and, you know, and verse with us. So I was contemplating. I was contemplating it. And then he started resonating and he ended up on my vibration because he actually, uh, he watched this series. I did a video. I talked about the free energy energy. And I talked about that there's a series on Netflix right now called 90210. The new 90210. Not the old one, but the new one. And I talked about the, the new 90210 brings in or it ushers this, us in to the 1% paradigm. We are the 1%. We're not the 9%. I'm, I'm, we're not the 99%. We are the 1%. And, um, and, and so we got to take back our birthright. We are the Illuminati. We are the Illuminated ones. We are the 1%. We don't have to pay taxes. We live free on this land. This is our land. We're not land renters. There is no landlord over us. We are land owners and not land renters. And when we walk around with that mentality, then things change in our reality. You see what I'm saying? And so um, the 90210 uh, uh, series on Netflix ushers us into that free energy paradigm. And I, um, I recommended it on one of my videos. In fact, a few of my videos. And he actually watched it. And then, um, so he, he did a few little videos on it. And then he um, he uploaded him um, um, training and sparring in the martial arts uh, class. And then, of course, his um, his sensei, the teacher that had came over from um, from uh, from Cuba to start teaching it in Magic City, he um, he created um, he created um, he created um. He created a, a a school out there in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? And, and what we call Magic City. And um and, and that school is very influential and in, in, in saving a lot of lives and doing a lot of beautiful different things. So, you know, um, I'm going out there and versing with him. He also wanted to start a clothesline. He wanted to start a clothesline, and his clothesline is gonna be called Silverback Gorilla Clan. The Silverback Gorilla Clan. And um, because I'm the Black Gorilla Gang, I said I need to go ahead and go out there with a few of my templates already and give them a few of my graphic design templates. Um, I have all of my, because um, of course I have a, a clothing store and a t-shirt shop where we do airbrushing and customized t-shirts and stuff like that. Uh, located in Hilltop Mall, what they call Richmond, California, what we call Rich City, you know what I'm saying, or Beauty City, and um, or Emerald City in higher densities. Um uh, there, there, there uh, there's a t-shirt shop that I run, uh, called customize it. And, um, I, I do airbrush and I do custom t-shirts. I do, um, iron on print press tra transfers. I do vinyl and all of that, you know? And, um, so I, pa I, uh, I put together, um, 
I got a few shirts. I got about 20 different black t-shirts and different sizes and, you know, uh, different colored shirts and different sizes and different hoodies and different sizes and different entire sweatsuits and different blank Letterman college jackets that I'm going to go out there to Vegas and I'm going to go ahead and assist him in putting together his, uh, his clothing design because that's his dream. And I know he ain't got no money. And I have an abundance of, of, of money, what they call free eye notes. And I have an abundance of free energy. So I might as well go out there and just help him actualize his dream. Because he ain't he ain't gonna do it otherwise. So I have all the equipment. I got the um I got the, the transfer paper. I got the clothes already, the shirts already. I got I'm not gonna give him too much, but I'm a, I'm allow him to put together a quick collection. So I have about um about a dozen different hoodies that he can work with. I have about uh, 24 different shirts and different sizes and different colors that he can work with. All free, just based on, you know what I'm saying? And then I have the best graphic designer, hands down on the planet Earth. His name is uh, uh, Chaos Cambridge. Shout out to Chaos Cambridge from um, Graph Tech FX, you know what I'm saying, dot com and uh, Graph Tech FX as an overall, you know what I'm saying? And we're getting ready to, um, I'm going to go out there with my, uh, with all of my equipment to do t-shirts and clothes. And, um, as well as my recording studio, we're going to lay down some music. Um, I'm a verse with him. I'm a verse with his teacher. I'm a verse with his, uh, with his whole school. It's about 35 of them. They're very high vibrational, high vibrational beings. And, um, every strong three days out of a strong seven days, they uh they go on top of this mountain. It's called the Red Brick Mountain. It kind of reminds me of the Red Brick Jasper. Um, and they go on top of this Red Brick Mountain out there in what they call Nevada or what they call Las Vegas, what we call Magic City, of course. And um they 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 um they uh they vibrate off of the DMT and they tap into the fifth dimension. And um his teacher, he absolutely loves me. He's a very good uh very very high vibrational be high vibrational being, and I love him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I love them, you know, infinitely, you know, and all of this. And so, you know, I'm getting ready to go out there. And um, and, 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 and while I'm out there, I have a few scenes that I really need to, to finish so I can complete this project. You know what I'm saying? The uh, the Red Skull, Rotten Fruit, and Lucky Bamboo um, 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 film so that when they get the DVD, I mean, when they get the album, the mixtape, it, it automatically comes with the DVD. I'm only giving it away for $10. Uh, fiat notes, you know what I'm saying? But of course I deal with free energy. So anybody within my clan, within, you know, the Dark Lord Vortex, of course, they're gonna either get it for free or for um for some kind of free energy exchange. So, you know, I might give it to them for an exchange of something that that's that's equal in value. You know what I'm saying? And so I have that and that's what you know that, that I'm working on right now, finishing up that project. I'm actually getting ready to take that trip um very, very soon. And I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, you know, versing with all of the different um, high vibrational beings that's out there. Shout out to the Silverback Gorilla Clan that's out there and, and what we call Magic City, you know. And, and that's what I'm working on right now. In addition to that, um, I've been putting down a lot of high science on dealing with the Persian energy. Because um, they came out, they recently came out with a new movie. And the new movie is uh, the 300. It's, it's an addition to that 300 series. And um, the new movie is uh, 300 Rise of the Empire or some shit. It's a new 300 movie. They talk about, you know, the 300 or whatever. These niggas, they're, they're supposed to fucking challenge the Persian army or something. And they, they fought a good fight or whatever, right? So they coming out with these new movies. But So I did my, um I did, I deciphered the whole 300 series. And I broke it down in a video. Uh, metaphysically, I didn't actually watch the new video. Some some girl, she said, hey, do you want to go uh, watch the new 300 uh, 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 movie with me? I said, what? Absolutely not. You know I ain't finna go motherfucking go to no fucking one of the major mind control, MK to mind control uh, 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 programming mechanisms to go get programmed. Tell nah, I ain't finna go watch no th new 300 movie with you. I said, but if you get the uh, the bootleg movie, you can come and bring it to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I check out the, the bootleg movie. But when she, when she said that, it kind of activated something inside of me. And I haven't seen the new movie yet. But I gave them, I did a video and I gave the manifest the metaphysics of the 300 shit. And I told people, I said, if you remember, before the actual new movie 300 came out, they already began to lay the foundational tracks for that new movie. 
with the, the Chrysler 300 shit. They plugged in the Chrysler 300 uh, car. And yeah, the, they made... The energy of those numer numbers and numerology. This is, you know, this excellent teaching you're doing there. Go yeah. ahead. I'm sorry. I yeah. was just excited for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problems. No problems. So they, they plugged it uh, before they even came out with the movie. They tried to get people conditioned to already accept the 300 program. So they they uh they introduced the Chrysler 300 car and then, you know, to make it popular and shit and to make it, you know, um, socially acceptable. They plugged in a few rapper rappers, uh, Plies. Uh, Plies, uh, he, he did a video, a music video within his rap career and shit. And um, he did a music video when he was siding in the high side in the 300, the Chrysler 300 car. And then um, a few other beings that, you know, that was coming through in the, in the 300 car, you know, so, so it made it come, kind of seem like it was cool or it was, it was socially acceptable, or, uh, socially acceptable, or it was popular to come through in a Chrysler 300 car, you know what I'm saying? And so Plies came through and that shit, and then you know a few other rappers came through and they crashed the 300. So it opened up the, it, it set the, it laid the foundational tracks for other beings to already accept the 300 program before they came out with the movie. Then they came out with the 300 movie. Now when they came out with the 300 movie, they came out with the movie um, knowing that they were the one percent that was dealing with the Persian energy. But 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 they was trying to usher motherfuckers into that ninety nine percent paradigm by saying that we was the three hundred. They was saying that we was the three hundred. You see what I'm saying? And my whole thing was they was saying we was the three hundred, and um and that we have to accept the three hundred uh, paradigm or the three hundred program. You know what I'm saying? And so um and so with that with that um with that um the thing that that rubbed me the wrong way. Was that I wasn't accepting the 300 program. All they did was they told a good story about some niggas that got their ass kicked. You know what I'm saying? All they did was tell a good, a bomb ass story. A beautiful, romantic, enchanting, very enticing, very intriguing story about some niggas that got their ass kicked. And what they was doing was they was trying to usher in niggas into, into that self-depreciating, self-defeat kind of paradigm. Where they was manifesting on the greater people's consciousness as well as imprinting on um, the subconscious mind that even though we might fight good and even though we might fight strong and we might fight fast and we may be we may appear as being strategic in the end we gonna lose you know what I'm saying so all those who resonated with the 300 as opposed to resonating with the Persian Empire. Them was the niggas that was included in the 99%. You see what I'm saying? But all those who resonated with the Persian Empire was the niggas that was included in the 1%. Very key. Very key. Very key. So I told niggas, I said, look, I don't give a fuck who you are. You go to, to, to motherfucker Oprah Winfrey's house. Motherfucker, you go to Tyler Perry's house. You go to you go to uh you go to to uh to, to Tyra Banks house. You go to fucking 50 Cent House, you go to JC House, you go to, to motherfucking Justin Bieber House. Every one of their houses, they ain't got one sculpture dealing with the 300. They ain't got one painting dealing with the 300. They ain't got one silk garment dealing with the 300. But you go to all of their houses, and they all got Persian energy in their house. They got the Persian rugs. They got the Persian paintings. They got the Persian... Sculptures, shit. They even smoking out of Persian hookahs. You see what I'm saying? They not yeah. dealing with that 300 shit. That 300 shit was for the 99% niggas. I don't resonate with getting my ass kicked. I resonate with telling niggas, look, you get down with this energy because this is the energy that's on the planet Earth. If you don't, then we can't spare you niggas. We the 1%. So worship me or else I'm giving you fair warning. The 300 niggas didn't fucking get, didn't get down. They didn't make the shift. It's metaphysical. They didn't make the shift into higher states of consciousness, subconsciousness, and knowingness. And because they didn't make the shift, the niggas went down and perished with the old world. And so that new movie is metaphysical because it represents the um it represents the energy grid of the earth changing, and that the Persian energy is now operating immensely on the planet earth right now 
on, on Gaia Earth and all those who tap into that Persian energy, not the 300 energy. Fuck the 300 energy. That shit is bullshit. They throwing niggas off with that. I don't resonate with that. The moment I seen that movie a long time ago, many, many, all, all, all worlds ago and, and many low vibrations ago and past lifetimes ago, when I seen that movie, I said, man, that shit don't resonate with me. Nigga, I ain't the motherfucker that got my ass kicked. I'm the motherfucker saying, rush me before you get your ass kicked. You see what I'm saying? And so the 300 was to indoctrinate niggas into the 99% paradigm. I'm telling niggas, make the shift out of that 300 shit. We ain't the 300 niggas. We ain't the niggas that got their ass whooped. All they did was tell a romantic story about some niggas that lost. Nigga, don't tell me about some niggas that lost. They got their ass kicked. Tell me about the niggas that's winning. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the shit I'm dealing with. And even when you look in the Bible, the the that whole little story that they telling in Hollywood is old shit. It ain't nothing new under the sun, beloved. Only that which is forgotten. So that old shit, that story is, is just based on the Persian niggas won. If you look at history, not his story, the shit that they trying to tell us, but the real shit, you know what I'm saying? Samaria, the Anunnaki's or whatever you want to call them, Samaria or uh, Mesopotamia, formerly known as Mesopotamia, was sacked by the Persians. They were sacked by the Persians. All those who were in Samaria, who made a higher shift into higher states of consciousness, subconsciousness, and knowingness, shifted and moved according to the energy you get in the earth and they was already in a persian paradigm this may seem abstract but if just follow me for a little bit they was already in the persian paradigm so when persia rose to power and sacked samaria formerly known as mesopotamia those who were in samaria the energy signatures who already moved according to the energy grid of gaia earth made the shift was sacking them old world niggas that was parasitic and not willing to evolve into a greater state of consciousness, subconsciousness, and knowingness, and stay there and live there consistently until their physical disposition evolved into a greater state of existence to match their already evolved greater state of knowingness. Them niggas perish. And then Persia went on and sacked what they call Kemet, Egypt, and sacked what they call Babylon and sacked all them niggas. Persia washed all them niggas up because that was the new paradigm. Niggas was, niggas was afraid to, to move according to the energy and make the shift. Nigga, we weren't limited to motherfucking Kemet or Samaria or none of that shit. My, our energy traveled all over the world. Europe and all through all of that shit, we was moving according to the energy grid of the earth. And because niggas was stagnated and wasn't moving according to the energy grid of the earth, they went down with the old paradigms and with the old world. You see what I'm saying? And so the Persian, the per the new movie that this is coming out, they're ushering in a new energy. They telling niggas what the energy is. Uh, I was just watching a speech. I was just watching a speech. And um, and the, the speech was uh, the speech was by uh, President Barack Obama. You know what I'm saying? And um, and he was talking about how all these different beings, and I got a playlist too. I created a playlist. It's called uh, uh it's a playlist that's on my YouTube channel, and it's 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 for Goddess Lulabelle, but it's for anybody that want to go and watch those videos. But on 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 the speech, President Barack Obama, he gave a speech, and it was a beautiful, wonderful, outstanding, phenomenal, muff, amazing speech. And he was talking about how investors all over the world are coming to America. They're bringing their business to America, not China. China used to be the business capital of the world. They're not bringing their shit to China no more. They're coming to America because of the energy. The energy that's in America, all of the energy, I don't give a fuck what motherfucking uh, culture or what so-called corporation, you know what I'm saying? They're all pointing right here. You go to Africa, they gonna point, they looking at what we doing over here in America. You go to China, they looking over what we doing over here in America. You go to Japan, out India, they looking at what we doing over here because the energy is so ripe. It's so ripe. The energy grid of the earth is so live and electric. You see what I'm saying? And and I'm responsible for it. You're responsible for it. And a dark lord uh, vortex is 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 uh 
is incredibly responsible for it because of the shift that we created with the nigga uh, uh, exit out of mind space and enter into God space. I exit out of the human experience and enter into the hybrid experience. We're better than, faster than, stronger than, and wiser than. Exit out of, out of the death um, of the mortal mentality and, 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 and enter into forever 21 paradigm. I'm 5,000 feet and infinite feet tall and, and, and sounds and vibrations paradigm and I am immortal paradigm. You see what I'm saying? So we're responsible for uh, awakening the energy grid of the earth that's over here on this land that they're calling, that they're running a corporation called America under incorporated under the uniform commercial code. You know what I'm saying? We, the energy is right here. Niggas ain't investing in China no more. They coming over here. And that's what President Barack Obama and President First Lady Michelle Obama is talking about. They touring all over the world. They're saying people all over the world, they're coming to America because the energy is here now. And all of the businesses want to do business right here because the energy is right here. And what I'm saying in the new video is that it's the Persian energy. That's the shift. And don't get caught up in the superficial shit of the we're the 300. That's for the other niggas. Even in the Bible, it talked about the Persian, how they came and took over the land. They took over the land with the assistance of the angelic energy. They was moving. That was divine. They had to take over the land. That was divine. They was moving with the assistance of the angels. And with the assistance of the... the and when I say angels, I ain't talking about the angels that they know. Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, none of them angels. I'm talking about the seven African powers. I'm talking about they took over with the with the Aresis. They took over. This land was taken over with the Reese's. Not by the Raphael. Not by the Michael. Not by the Gabriel. Not them Elohims. I'm talking about the Reese powers. The seven African powers. The the Oshun. The Ogun. The Lagba. The Odudamar. The Shangos. Them. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, when I say that, I also want to say shout out to, uh, to Lesby. Olu. Sola. Shantes. Who is the founder of the gorilla, the uh, the Silverback Gorilla Clan in what they call Las Vegas, what we call Magic City? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Les uh, Lesmi Sanchez. You know what I'm saying? Of uh, the founder of that martial arts school, and also shout out to King Cam, the God. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Supreme. I'm about to go out there to uh, Magic City and shoot the last little uh, 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 scenes for my film, my short film, uh, 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 Red Skull, Rotten Fruit, and Lucky Bamboo. So it's beautiful, you know what I'm saying? But B President Barack Obama, what he was saying was, short story shorter, was that the energy is now over here. And the energy that we need to be working with is not that 300 shit. I don't give a fuck about a romantic story about some niggas that got their ass kicked. All they did was tell a story about some niggas that got their ass kicked. When we look in the Bible, the 300 was the, the loser niggas. Them niggas was on the wrong side of energy. The niggas we need to look at is the Persian niggas. They was on the right side of energy. Being led by the seven African powers, Asherishas, them niggas took over because it was divine purpose for them niggas to take over. So I'm saying... If you have anything Persian in your house, go ahead and start working with your personal Vang Shui. That's the energy to work with. Persian rugs, Persian artwork, Persian sculptures, Persian statues, Persian deities. Uh, shit, get a fucking hookah. That still deals with the Persian energy. Get a fucking hookah. You know what I'm saying? That shit still deals with the Persian energy. Shit, I've been smoking out of a, a hookah pipe. You know what I'm saying? Two big ass hookah shit, water hookahs and shit. And, you know what I'm saying? Anything. Because all that deals with the person energy. And and if you want to make the shift into the free energy, the 1% paradigm, the, the, the we the elites paradigm, then that's what it is. That person energy. And that's what I've been working on lately. Besides that, you know what I'm saying? Life is life gets better and it gets better. <laughs> You're so nice. I'm not working as much. You know, I have to say, I don't think I started it up. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> and, you know, you bring so much joy to my heart. You have, you know, purposes and kind of into the kingdom unless you are like a child. You have the enthusiasm, the imagination, you know, and, you know, if we all had the fortitude of children to believe when he seems to be impossible, wow, well, we could, you know, create. Right. And 
you know, I was just sitting here thinking, you know, Midas touch, you know, he's mm -hmm. got the Midas touch on the things that he's, you know, working towards, you know, um, and that, you know, you have to look at, you know, you have to balance. That's another story too, where you balance energy, but your own point about um, 300 in the paradigm that is, is addressing and you know there's some things I want to a few things I want to talk about with you um, like I said I don't have as much time today as I normally do but um, I want to say first of all